Good evening, shoppers. The time is now 10.40 p.m. and we will be closing in 20 minutes. Please grab your final purchases and make your way up to the front. Again, we will be closing in 20 minutes. Please grab your final purchases and wait, make your way up to the front. And as always, thank you for shopping at the place that I used to work at. Hey, Faith, would you mind going over and taking over for Susie to close self-checkout? Absolutely. Sounds good. <laughs> ma'am? Ma'am, excuse me, ma'am. Yes, how can I help you? All of this is not ringing up correctly. The prices were different on the shelf. Okay, no problem. Let me check that for you. Okay, so scanning everything on my device, everything's showing up the price that's ringing up on the screen. No, I have pictures of the shelf. Look. Okay, I see. So these are like under a dollar difference, so I can fix those for you. But this one right here, I can tell, is like a $40 difference. So it's either in the wrong spot or, yeah, it wasn't supposed to be there. So I can't fix that one for you, but I can do the other ones. No, I want this for the $40 less. Well, looking at the picture, what's supposed to be there is there. So whether that was in front of it or, again, it was in a different spot, um, that's just not the ticket for that specific machine. It was in the wrong spot. You have to do the override for me. Unfortunately, ma'am, I can't do an override because something was in the wrong spot, especially for a $40 difference. Well, can you get a manager over here to do it? I can guarantee you because it was in the wrong spot that she's not going to do it either. So I'm sorry. It's just way too much of a price difference. And again, we don't do price overrides for things that were in the wrong spot. Customers put things in the wrong spot all the time. I don't care. Get her anyway. Is she coming or not? So I did go ahead and call her over. Um, she's probably dropping till since it's the end of the night and we're closing. So she should be over here soon. Well, can't you just walk over there and go and get her? Since it's closing and I have nobody to take over for me, I have to wait for her to come over here. So I can't leave my post. I don't understand why you can't just do it. Even if I tried, it would ask for a manager override. So either way, I would need her to come over. But like I said, I highly doubt that she is going to do a price override for over $40 for something that was in the wrong spot. So you can either just wait a couple more minutes or just not get it. Maybe get it at another time. You can come to customer service and kind of explain the situation then tomorrow. No, I want it right now for the $40 difference. Well, I can't do that. And I also don't know when she's gonna be able to come over. So you will be having to wait. So ridiculous. Try to call her again. So I put in the code again and she doesn't come. At this point, we've been closed for like maybe 10, 15 minutes. And I also don't have a phone over at self checkout where I can like call anything. She just does not want to help me, I guess. Here, fine. I won't take it. Whoa, ma'am. Okay, this is a huge appliance. You did not need to throw it at me like that. And I didn't need your attitude this entire time. So I guess we're both upset. Okay, ma'am, you can go ahead and leave. I'm no longer letting you check out. This is not okay. I'm not leaving. I'm going to buy the rest of the stuff and then I will leave. Hey, Faith. So a little bit of bad news. Um, Susan quit this morning. So we were just wondering what time you'll be coming in today. Um, I don't work today. What does Susan quitting have to do with me? Oh, well, since you know you're one of our most valued employees, we figured that you would be, you know, a team member like you always are and come in and help us. Yeah, no, my days off are strictly my days off. I'm not coming in today too bad. I really did think that you understood that we're a family here and uh, I really did think that you were going to be a team player and help us out, but I guess that the company isn't as important to you as I thought it was. This company is not my family. The people that I come home to, that's my family. Um, this just pays my bills. Um, I don't really give a crap about your whole family, team player ethic. Um, I'm not coming in on my day off. My days off are the same every week, and they're the only days off that I get. Um, it's not my fault that Susie quit. As the manager, it's your job to find coverage. All right, well, if that's how you really feel, I guess I'll let you go enjoy your day off, and I guess I'll have to spend hours on the computer trying to figure out who's going to take over our, her shift. All no problem. I'll see you Thursday. Good luck.